hello everyone and welcome back to the channel you know it's wolf and i'm back with another reaction you know dr umar does not learn <laughs> i'll tell you that, yo. <laughs> Let, let's see yo. dr umar goes off over eminem backlash yo <laughs> yo et et lifestyle dropped another video you know I'm, I'm about to check this out i'm not gonna well check out the entire thing i I'm, i want to see what he has to say about eminem and how i can get some comedic value from that you know yeah so yeah people if you if you if you're new to the channel i i would very much appreciate it if you subscribe um you don't you don't have to write away you can watch a video and then decide you know yeah and um it's wolf let's get this yeah Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have a couple of topics to cover as we got more from Dr. Umar based on the backlash he faced over some of the comments he made about Eminem and this has led to even more heated debates at the moment and seeing as we covered this drama from the start it is quite the change in tone from Dr. Umar seeing as he's banking on the audience's ignorance months later but as you'd see in a bit after we refer to the clips that started this crap storm you'll see that Dr. Umar is trying to re write history, seeing as he is solely responsible for starting the Eminem drama due to his comments on the Joe Budden podcast, and we'll get to more on this in a bit. And we also have an update on what looks to be the aftermath of J. Cole's decision to fold to Kendrick Lamar just when the battle was getting started. And I'll leave it up to you guys to be the judge on if this is happening because he folded. And starting with the latest on Eminem's Houdini, we can now officially confirm that it is objectively a global hit as we recently got the Europe official top 100 update a few hours ago go that shows Houdini was the number one song in the continent <laughs> and for those who missed it here's a yeah, recap Eminem's Houdini was the number one song in the Middle East and North Africa it was the number one song in South Africa number one yeah. song in Europe and overall according to Billboard both including and excluding the United States it was the number one song on Billboard Global 200 and we yes. got a breakdown of what this means for a rapper to have a solo hit at the age of 51 check this out <laughs> that is focused on the United States market solo Billboard top 10 hit by a hip-hop artist over 40 years old and as you can see only two rappers have managed this feat and Eminem has done this five times and becomes the first hip-hop artist to ever achieve this in their 50s and Houdini officially hit number one in 10 countries around the world and moving on yo yo that's that's an accomplishment and yo age is really a factor in, in um in uh hip-hop you know because they say if you uh, above a certain age you shouldn't be rapping you shouldn't be pursuing it you know a big hip-hop career anymore you know and that's and that and that looks sad for me you know because uh you know uh sometimes i, I get freaking i get urges i get in, inspired you know but enough about me I, that's crazy in general yeah J. Cole folding to Kendrick Lamar looks to have had lasting consequences. Well, at least according to hip-hop fans, following a recent report on the performance of his last project that hit a new low for J. Cole, check it out. Mike Delete Later falls off the Billboard 200 this week after only eight weeks. It becomes the only J. Cole project to spend less than a year on the chart. Is it still in your rotation? And the reactions have been quite interesting to say the least as many are- Oh, it falls off, yo. Less than- a year eight weeks bro eight weeks <laughs> who wants to come out of the chart then yo j cole j cole i feel for you bro you can you can still rap but damn people people <laughs> people are not gonna let you forget this yeah i don't doubt your skill your talent but people are not gonna forget this <laughs> for real are convinced that the way he handled Kendrick Lamar has got a lot to do with this fall off as some expanded. I stopped listening to this album the moment J. Cole became J. Fold. And mind you, for no, a fact, this. J. Cole <laughs> made some of his biggest fans on social media. I did some this and write this. I know it's simple, but damn, J. Cole, J. Fold, damn. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This, that, that, that was uncalled for. Look like fools. <laughs> Since before he apologized for dropping the Kendrick diss track, they went to war for him on social media, engaged in arguments about how to pimp a butterfly is actually <laughs> overrated. All for J. Cole to take it back roughly 48 hours later, and another user expanded on this note. I hated J. Cole for deleting the diss track. That's what made the album look like a flop. Can never be Drake. Goat emoji. Stand on business any day. Laughing emoji. But did, didn't 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 we hear that Drake deleted his um 
his tracks for, for Kendrick recently. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I didn't follow it up even though I heard about it. But if anyone is more informed, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, guys, um, I don't know who, if you're, if you're already subscribed to this dude's channel, but it's a good channel to be subscribed to. Always with the latest updates and some great information, you know. Yeah, just a shout out. The link to this video is in the description, you know. Even Big Daddy Kane was shocked by the move since he had faith in J. Cole and believed J. Cole didn't overstep on the diss tracks for him to have to take it back. I'm more of a J. Cole fan, probably <laughs> the greatest lyricist of this era. You know, honestly, where I'm from, I'm from, I said what I said. So if I said it, I meant it. And that's that. Yeah. You know, I didn't say nothing about your family, your, your wife. You know what I'm saying? I didn't overstep my bounds. So I said what I said. But do you yeah. think J. Cole <laughs> Folding is responsible for the album falling out the charts in just eight weeks, at least compared to Cole's previous project, since many are convinced this is the reason. In other words, he should have A, stood his ground and not try to be really a part of the diss, but rather keep the diss up to not seem like he folded. B, not folded <laughs> to pressure and don't even make the diss in the first place if you know you don't want to do that. And moving on to the okay, next point. Okay, okay. So, yes. That's 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 correct. That's correct. Yeah. Before we get to his um nonsense, bro. But yeah, <sighs> don't participate if you, if you, if you don't feel like it in yourself. Don't fall to pressure. That's cool. And yeah, you 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 did the this and took it down. I feel like that's why, at least, it's not getting as much um attention as as it as it would have because. A lot of people would would have been still playing that this right now if if he didn't take it off the Sp Spotify. I'm telling you. Tomar was recently on the Art of Dialogue and he was asked about the Eminem backlash he faced and we gotta calm Dr. Umar this time around and first yeah. check out a snippet before we explore how this is going so far. I think it was Joe Button who suggested Eminem may be one of the greatest and I said he could never be considered the GOAT. If you want to say he's one of the greatest, make that argument but you will not call him the GOAT of a black cultural icon, of a black cultural product. You're not doing that. Our culture is our culture. We don't share it. If y'all wanna give people privilege to participate, then they have participation privilege. But you cannot be the face of something my people made. Okay, I understand what he is saying. But right now, this is all about merit we're talking about. This is talking about, he's talking about skill, pure talent and what he's accomplished. That is what, whenever I say that Eminem is the GOAT, I look at all of that. Like a, like a freaking meritocracy. You have to have the skill to back up what you claim. And right there, every rapper tries to be the best. And if you are not a rap, if you're a rapper and you're not trying to be the, be the best, you just, you know, you're just a, a, a music maker, you know, a music ma maker. You might got some rhymes, and you might can rap a little bit, but you're not really about the competition that's going on in this rap game or hip hop in general. Yes. Now that said, Eminem is the GOAT and verifiably so. Um, I haven't listened to a lot of uh, other prominent black rappers. You know, when I was growing up, I think about high school, you know, the first black rapper I, I, I heard mainly was freaking, <laughs> mainly was freaking Soldier Boy. Though. And that's it. And that's, and that's, <laughs> and that's disgraceful to say because it's probably because of that MTV era, you know? And, and Soldier Boy quickly fell out of the rotation. And later on, about a couple of years later, I got introduced to Eminem and realized a different um, quality of rapping, if you, if, you, if you get what I mean. From then on, the craziness to his transition to more serious um, and more statement-driven music he, he making now. Yeah, but I still miss, miss that um, craziness that he, that, he, <laughs> that he was keeping up back then. But yeah, Eminem is one of the many rappers that can freaking do this thing how it should be and can throw you for a loop also they can freaking make a track you listen to it and you appreciate it all yo know, and and make all this excitement about how crazy you went and years later you will listen to that track again and hear something that you didn't hear previously after you've done listen to that track and or that album before a long time ago and i'm telling you this happened to me at least with one of his songs and um i, I think at least i, I can say tech nine 
Tech Nine is one of them one of them ones too. Hey, right now, and a lot of people don't really listen to Tech Nine unless you in the know. Tech Nine is the one that introduced me to freaking <laughs> uh, psych psychology, Snow the product, all of them people there. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a, 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 I'm going off in a tangent, but yes, you you just discount the dude's hard work to get where he is. And as he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, might be because i'm white is why i'm in the top five but it's probably the reason why you can't put me at one or something like that. i don't remember the bar exactly it's something to that effect privilege but you cannot be the face of something my people made black people suffer from post-traumatic slavery disease and we crave white validation more than oxygen we are always looking to anoint some non-african so when i said eminem cannot yo yo black people suffer from what I'm telling you, this dude is, is he, he, he basically marketing right now. He looking for that, that clip, that clip that can go on social media everywhere and cause a whole lot of commotion. So by that logic, you might use your, okay. So by that logic, you also suffer from that. <laughs> I'm looking for it. <laughs> but I, I'm just using your own freaking logic, you know? I'd be the goat. I never said he couldn't rap. I never said he didn't have talent. I simply said he can't be the GOAT. No more than DJ Khaled could ever be considered the GOAT as a DJ or producer because you are not African. And before we continue, here's a snippet from the Joe Budden podcast that started this drama. Because remember, all Joe Budden asked was, you don't think Eminem is one of the best rappers? Before Dr. Umar blew it out of proportion. That's your question. You don't think Eminem Hold is on, one of the best down. rappers of all time? According to who? You, rap fans. Let me say something to you. And this mm. is going to my African fundamentalism. <laughs> no non-African can ever be the best of anything African. You don't think Eminem is one of the best rappers of all time? <laughs> no non-African can ever be the best of anything African. The receipts, people. The receipts. The receipts. The receipts. They come. They, they coming in ruthlessly. But yeah, right there. Exactly. You you got him. You got him right there. Cause he literally backpedaled right in, in that in that previous st statement. <laughs> I don't have to go back, go back over that, but he literally backpedaled. The backpedaling was crazy. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. And as you saw, <laughs> he literally started the whole thing by failing to answer a simple question about Eminem. And now Dr. Omar proceeded to use shame and insults to address the rappers and hip hop media personalities who rightfully defended Eminem. Check out a snippet. A lot of hip hop artists took offense. They came out of the woodworks with their unlicensed law degrees and served as Eminem's expert lawyer and publicist to the black world. And they <laughs> defended that man better than Johnny Cochran defended OJ Simpson and basically told me I have no right to speak on the topic because I am not a rapper. Negro, I'm just disappointed, brother. Because just like we talked about Snow Bunny Barkley and Snow Bunny Shannon. Bro, really? And LeBron James earlier defending Caitlin Clark. Okay, you see that? You see that? And this, okay, if you haven't watched my video about, uh, about, uh, I'm, I'm reacting to this um, lady, uh, uh, her, her name is, escapes me right now, um, about the, the things that has happened with black ghetto culture um, overtaking black culture, uh, like in the media, re, re, like being the face uh, representation of it. This is one of the things that fellow, black people do they will revoke your black like your black card or your blackness saying that you're not black if you if you go against the narrative like go against the, the what is necessarily considered as black so i don't know what shannon sharp did to freaking um get him to be calling him a snow bunny and as and that's a wild 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 name yo <laughs> For a black man but you can see and i've seen a lot a lot of black people do this um in my in my life like because you have a dissenting opinion or, or something that goes opposed to the to how they think you should believe or how you should um see the world they say that you're not black you're white like you're, they have some form of authority to reflect the color of your skin and that's the thing if you look at that for what it is you can see the, the, the freaking hating your own because they don't agree with your point of view or how you will see the world. And this is why I think that 
this dude is a racist clown, you know? And he freaking even showing hate to his own just because they don't share the same um, thought process. This dude doesn't, doesn't deserve people's time or attention unless they want him to confirm their bias, you know? That's what a lot of people go to him for. I assume, I assume. Because, you know, if I don't use my words carefully, my comments are going to be filled with some people trying to prove something, trying to hate for this dude right here. But yeah, we know that he goofy and... <laughs> <laughs> we just look at him for inter entertainment at the end of the day and to stay up to date with his views and ideology to see how dangerous it is because he's, he only sows division bro he's saying that he's there for the betterment of black people and uh, all of that stuff yes I can get that but you can get, do that without tearing others down you know right there I know a lot of um, and a lot of black people have probably experienced being told that they are not black because they don't think like the group you know they, they don't, because they are individual free thinker they have critical thinking can freaking look into a situation and form their own opinion they get freaking um, chastised ac accosted or whatever yeah get their black status revoked you know <laughs> like the, like you can revoke something that someone's born with but yeah let's continue we saw the same thing happen with these so-called gangster rappers who took Eminem's defense against your good brother, Dr. Umar E. Fatunga. And you know what bothered me the most? These rappers defending Eminem without him even asking them to, without him even paying for them to do it. What offended me the most about it, Art, I've never seen any of them defend black women the same way. Our gangster rappers are politically effeminate. Our basketball players, NFL players, politically... I know he was going to find some way to put black women in there but yeah I, I i get that i get where he's coming from but he using it using their struggle as ammunition against yeah black men i get that black men should be the ones to cave for their women but i am not gonna stay here and see abhorrent behavior and prop it up just because you are of the same race I know that we should be protecting you, but even give us something to protect. Show us something that is worth protecting. And that is the key word. Most of um, black men probably don't see the worth in it because what they put in, they don't get the same value out. And most, and I'm saying it might be wrong to look at it like that as a, as a transactional thing, but that's, <laughs> that's the reality of the situation. And most of them, don't even get the appreciation that they deserve. But I'm telling you, this is, I'm going off on a tangent, but this is, this is just the reality of things, people. And um, a lot of people decide to stay blind to the reality of, of how things is. Only, decide, only wants the benefit, but don't want to freaking pay. Or only want the benefit, but don't want, don't want to put into work of getting that benefit, you know? Let's go. Clearly effeminate whenever it comes to holding white people responsible for appropriating black culture. Here comes the gangster rappers to defend their white Jesus. But remember, we wouldn't be here Damn. if Dr. Omar could answer a simple question. But now he's trying to change the tone of how this got heated. And boy, this. Yo, I don't care what color it is. You behave in a, a abhorrent way or a freaking out of the pocket way. I will freaking hold you accountable. And that's how it should be. No matter the skin color, gender, or whatever you are, just behave like a dis decent human being, I'm telling you, and you will have, well, almost no problem because even people have problems with decent human beings, you know? Sparked even more heated debates online. As some are convinced he's not wrong, and in fact, most people would be surprised to know that Eminem would agree with most of Dr. Umar's comments and just wouldn't throw his own guys under the bus. Eminem has even met with Minister Louis Farrakhan, whereas some black celebs would absolutely refuse to, and others have hit back at this with Eminem's lyrics. They say the only reason I'm top five is because I'm white, but being white ain't why they put me at five. It is why they. This is the freaking lyric I was trying to quote. <laughs> this is the freaking lyric I was trying to quote, but freaking did not remember. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 
Listen to what he said. The saying. reason I'm top five is because I'm white. But being white ain't why they put me at five. It is why they can't put me at one. Eminem yes. on realist. <laughs> Listen to what the man says before assuming PS. M is the goat. Go argue with your grandma. And I'd say we need to stay focused. Just like Dr. Omar says. We must stay focused, brothers. We must. <laughs> focused on what started this whole thing. He was asked a simple question about Eminem. And he chose to go on a rant. And for yeah. a fact, Eminem has revealed that he raps to be the best rapper. I don't really get into those lists like i don't really like it doesn't really matter to me i know for a fact how i feel i rap to be the best rapper but i'm not the only rapper who raps to be the best rapper wayne mm -hmm. cole kendrick mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like join lucas they they rap to be the best rapper yes yes yo and those are some of the rappers that i've um that i've listened to over the time um over my my younger years coming up in high school yeah, Lil Wayne, a little bit of Kanye, um, a little bit of Ace Hood, a little bit of, you know, um, T-Pain. Yeah, those people. And I, 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 I <laughs> so I'm not, I've, I, I mostly haven't really listened to um, the ones that they might have considered the greats or the goats in, in, in rap. Yes, obviously. You know, I, I was there for, for Kendrick, you know. Yes, <laughs> that dude doing some crazy shit when he, when he was coming up. But yeah, at, at least I've heard some of, some of their music. You know, when you push yourself like that, that's what I feel like inspires greatness. Mm. And in response to Dr. Umar, some have expanded. <laughs> Eminem himself said he's a guest in hip hop, but always shows respect and appreciation of the culture and history. Yep. He's very self aware. If you've listened to him for a long time, he's the only white rapper in any top anything list, by the way. So why yes. is this clown complaining? And since Dr. <laughs> Umar is so quick to blast rappers and claim they don't defend black women like they defended Eminem, which is a false statement coming from a doctor who forgot to cite his sources, and now some have flipped this <laughs> on him. When is this shot? gonna marry a black woman laughing emojis he is 49 and he's yet to quote break the cycle as according to reports he has created two what no what single mothers two children by cycle as according to reports he has created two single mothers two children by two different women and it is interesting to see how his take has sparked reactions all over the place as even those who agree with him yo yo that's right there. The internet going the, the internet going to do its research right there. The internet going to do its research. And right there, <laughs> he made two single moms right there. He didn't wipe up none of these black women. And the way how he caped so much for them and he not taking his own advice and freaking wife one up. It, it, it has to do with whatever um behaviors or character traits that they have i don't know them but you have your reasons and other black men have their reasons you you, you think just because you you, you freaking uh, uh, yeah this dude you know he thinks because he capes for them that is why he can be excused or um not be held to the same standards that he wants other black people to or black men to be held to you know? It's interesting to see how his take has sparked reactions all over the place, as even those who agree with him still disagree with him at the same time. Due to his pan-Africanism, let's be clear, he isn't African-American. Africans have very little contributions to hip-hop and rap. So as you can see... I don't know how true that is. I know that freaking when hip-hop started, most of uh, like, it was a freaking derivative or an offshoot from um jamaican music i don't know if it was dancehall or reggae or which one I, have, I would have to check the history but I, I i think it does have a little bit of african influence along with Jeff um, jamaican influence yes if you have more knowledge on the situation i would very much welcome it in the comments yeah have a discussion down there but right there people out here spouting this but i i do not want to just run with whatever someone uh, like someone says uh, like this right here i don't i don't want to run with it because I, it might be incorrect this is the internet people we have to be skeptical but yes
At least some people are, are saying that. See, Dr. Umar using the word African is also a debate of its own, and some are still struggling to understand why Dr. Umar tried to use shame in his arguments about why Eminem can't be one of the best. I've never met a black person who likes M because he's white. So the idea <laughs> Umar is saying black people look for someone non-black to dominate culture is just false. But again, that's my experience can speak for everyone, and some yeah. believe Dr. Umar should focus on more pressing matters. Dr. Umar should be more concerned with the school he has yet to open than with Eminem himself. He accepted donations for the school seven years ago. Now it is 2024 and there's still no school. I smell a scammer. I'm pretty sure those rappers and the OGs that defended M don't care what Dr. Umar thinks. And person- Wait, 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 wait. Wait. He freaking grifted people uh, uh, to donate money to, to, to fund a freaking <laughs> construction of a school. What? Okay. Okay. Personally, I love the changing tone since he discovered industry vets weren't gonna side with him, hence why he quickly turned to use shaming language as a defense. That's the main thing I wanted to freaking uh, react to that. But that's crazy, bro. Yeah. I smell a grifter, people. I, I, I smell a grifter, but not really. Not really. He probably actually believes in the message that he spouts i'm giving him a, a, a fear a fear no even though i disagree with with most of his takes i'm giving it a fear shake i might have pointed and laughed a lot in this <laughs> and combated some of his points oh yeah he might actually believes the message that he preach and tries to push to the message for the betterment of black people yeah he might have his our best interest at heart i don't know what he doing i'm giving the dude a fear a fair shake because I don't want someone to probably look at me and give me an unfair shake on any argument or points I might put out there. He 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 makes himself look like a clown <laughs> a lot though. But yeah, yes. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, let me know. Sound off in the comments with your thoughts and opinions on the stuff in the video. You know, yes. This is Wolf. I'll see you in the next one. If the video is too long, <laughs> you can complain about that down there also. But yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Itekimas. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs>